Hello students, I hope that you guys are all well. Today is Friday, that's awesome. So today we're going to have an art video. Today's video is going to be a little different because we're going to do two different things. What we're gonna to do today is we are going to work on our cube. So you all have this paper inside of your art packet and we are going to learn how to put this together. The second section that we're going to be working on in this video is a how-to video and we're going to be working on, it's going to have to do with the cube that we're going to work on. We're going to learn how to make a cube in the simple way that is not going to be the one point perspective method that we learned last class, but it's going to be a different method and it's very simple, it's very easy and we're going to learn how to shade it in. Also, if you have your form paper, here is mine, and I actually shaded mine in, as you can see. So if you would like to do that, we're also going to go over that in this video. So if you have your form worksheet, then right now is the time to take it out. If not, that is okay. You can skip that part of the video, or you can just watch and look at the worksheet I have. So, let's go on. For the first section, you are going to need a glue stick and a scissor. You're going to find this page in your art packet and cut it out and it's going to look like this. Now that you have your paper cut out, you are going to start working with it. So you are going to have some dotted lines like this one and the one, the two other ones next to it. And you are going to fold that section of the paper. So make sure that when you are folding them that you are pressing them nicely and pressing on them hard so you have a nice crease. Once all the dotted lines are folded, you can move them around just like this and it's going to have different creases and it's actually going to be able to connect with each other so that's why we folded them in the first place. Now that we folded all the dotted lines, we're going to fold this section of the paper. It's going to have different flaps on the squares just like this one has three and this one has two and you are going to fold all of those sides back. Now I'm going around and checking them to make sure all the flaps are back and folded. As you can see, I folded them all and they are ready for the next step. So this next step is going to be a bit tricky. I am now going to use my glue stick and I am going to start adding glue on the flaps that we folded back. And that is going to help us put our cube together just like this. Here I am numbering my squares just so it could be a little easier to explain. I am going to add glue to the middle flap right there on box number one and I'm going to connect it to box number six. The flap is going to be on the back side of the square number six and you are going to press nicely and hard so that it can stay on and glue to each other. 
You are now going to add glue to the rest of the flaps. Start with box number two next and I'm going to glue the both of the flaps and attach it to the next side of the cube. Keep on following that step for the next sides and keep adding glue. As you can see my glue was not sticking because it was a little dry so just keep adding glue and keep on working with those sides. When you have the last side of the cube left it's going to be a little difficult to attach it to the other part of the cube so what you're going to do is glue those two flaps down glue them on and you could either lay your cube or you could just put attach the sides to it and you could pinch that side since it will be easier for you to attach together and ta-da this is your completed cube now we're going to start working on the second part of this video. If you want to pause and wait and do this later, you can definitely do that as well. Materials you are going to need now is a piece of paper and a pencil. As you can see, I have a cat in a hat drawing here because I made a video on how to draw a cat in a hat for lower elementary. So if you would like to watch that, you can also definitely learn how to draw him. But right now I'm going to use the back of the paper and I'm going to draw a square. After I draw my first square, I'm going to draw a second square, but this square is going to be slightly above and to the side of the first square, just like this. We are now going to start connecting the corners to each other. So I connected that corner to the next corner and this one to the other square. I'm gonna keep connecting the corners together. And it gave me the 3D form of a cube. So now I'm going to go ahead and erase the lines in the inside of the cube and leave the outer lines there. Here I'm creating the sun to be my light source in this picture so I can create the shadows within my cube. So the two closest sides to the lights are going to be the lightest and the front face of the cube is going to be the darkest since it's the furthest away from the light. So I'm going to shade it in as dark as I can. Once I finish shading in the darkest side of the cube, I'm going to go around with my eraser and fix and erase any of the marks that I made. And I'm going to leave the closest side to the cube just the way it is and it's going to be white. So the second side of the cube, I am going to go over with my finger and smudge it to give it some kind of shadow. And you are done. Here I have the form worksheet that we used Wednesday and I added shadow to the figures that we made with our one point perspective method and here you can see that I created a sun to be used as a light source and the closest one is the lightest one and the furthest one is the darkest one just like this one and the one right in the middle is kind of in between both so I did that both with my star 
And I also erased the lines that was used to connect to the dots for the one point perspective. Now this is the back of the paper. You can use this as practice. You can add different suns to be your light source in different area and kind of work with it and try to see if you can form different types of shadows within your figure to give it more of that 3D effect and also erase the lines that are connected to your shape that are connected to the dots as well. So what you're going to do is do that and I'm also going to do that as well and I'm going to have a video that is going to be a little faster. Now that I finished explaining on the form worksheet and how to create the shadows, I'm going to go back to the cube that we worked on earlier and you are going to try to see if you could find a flashlight. You can use one from your phone or from your parents. And I'm going to show you the different shadows and highlights you can create with your cube. So if you can see, I turned on my flashlight and you can see that there are areas in the cube that are lighter than the other sides. As you can see, this side is the darkest because it's the furthest away from the light. And if I keep moving it, you could see the shadow also moving with the light and the different areas that are now lighter than the rest. As you can see here, I'm going to move around my cube and move around my flashlight and you can see the shadow of the whole cube move around and you can also see how the different spaces and sides of the cube are lighter and darker as the light source moves around as well. That is all for today. I hope to see, see your awesome cubes that you guys have created. If you actually want to color it and design your cube as well, you are welcome to do that. I just kept mine plain white. What you, I also encourage you to do is do go and look for a flashlight at your home. Most um, electronics have flashlights built into them. So just kind of like play around with your flashlight, go around this cube to see the different shadow and tints and highlights that this cube will create. That is all for today. I hope that you guys have a fantastic Friday. I miss you all and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.